little laryngitis edition of Gino Reviews the Flash. There's no other edition, just me reviewing the Flash, but you know what I mean. Green tea with lemon. Dog barking downstairs. What else is there? Anyways, yeah, the, the Flash, it was great. I, I really liked it. I really did. You know, as someone who's read, um... Sorry. Someone who's read The Flashpoint and seen the animated movie of The Flashpoint, you know, you, I kind of got what I was getting in this, you know? Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. But, uh, Ezra Miller as The Flash slash Barry Allen, the portrayal was pretty good, um... Ezra had to play two different Barrys. We got to see, like, present Barry, of course, and then we got to see teenage Barry. And that teenage Barry is more like of a, you know, ang angsty teenager that's, like, excited to find out that, you know, he's gonna be, he's gonna be a superhero, and then, like, he's very impatient with his powers, but also excited, too. Wants to help everyone, but at the same time, is like, calm down, so, you know, take it back a bit, you know. But yeah, that the that that portrayal was pretty good. Ben Affleck as Batman in this, I kind of I really hope we do see Ben Affleck as Batman again. I he was great in this, especially when we got to see um, him and Barry interact. He was he really was starting to act more like you know he st I was starting to see more Bruce Wayne and Batman in him now too in this one. It's, and the, his action scenes were pretty good, too. It's like, it was amazing. Especially when you got to see Michael Keaton as Batman. Michael Keaton, always great. And we got to see his action scenes. So, like, when we got to see Ben Affleck's action scenes, action scenes as Batman, and we got to see Michael Keaton's action scenes as Batman, it's like, it felt like the Arkham games, if you've played them. That's, like, how I would have, that's how it would have been, like, you know in live action like it, it was it was so great too I felt like maybe they both had a, a different style too I felt like um I think Michael Keaton's uh, Batman was maybe I think he had more theatrics I'm not too sure maybe maybe that's just me but um Supergirl she was cool in this movie I really liked this Supergirl a lot you know yeah she looked different I kind of wish it was a blonde one too but this Supergirl was great um, she was a lot, she was a lot different than the Supergirl we're all used to. This Supergirl, it's, it's like, this Supergirl was just, she just became, you know, she's now a Supergirl, but on, under new circumstances, where now she's, she doesn't know her powers, but she's trying to, she wants to, uh, figure out what the hell's going on. Maybe, no, that's not, that's not why I like. She's, you know, she's on a new planet, you know, she doesn't know it yet, but she just knows that her planet is gone. And that's all she knows, but she knows she has these powers now. But, um, I really hope we see her again, because I thought she was pretty good. What I was trying to say is that the Supergirl in this one is like, you know, as if it's like, you know, Clark. No, no, not Clark. What I'm trying to say is that this Supergirl has been awakened because she's, you know, was in captivity. So, she's trying to figure out when she awakens after, after she awakens that she knows her planet is gone, but is this planet, is this planet worth fighting for because they did... You know, the humans did held her in captivity. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Back to you, Gino. In other words, um, yeah, the movie was great. I felt like the action scenes and the humor was, you know, saving it for me. And the acting. But also, I also think that the CGI... I agree with a lot of reviews saying that the CGI was, at times, were off-putting. But there are also times where I was like, yeah, you know, you get over it for me. But there are times where the CGI was just like really weird. I was like, that looks strange. How come they couldn't touch that up at least? 
But they, you know, it's what it is. What it is at this point now. The movie's already out. And green tea with lemon for the throat. The trout for the trout. But uh, yeah, I would give this an absolute recommend. I would definitely watch it again. But um, yeah. Also, like I said, like the plot. The plot was good. I think the plot could have been better. You know, like. There's one part, I won't spoil it, where I just thought it was really stupid. I was just like, why? why? <laughs> and then, but then, um, you, you kind of see after that part, something happens. It's like, oh, okay. I, okay, I get that. I guess that makes sense, but I'm just like, but why would that happen, though? But, you know. But anyways, yeah. Uh, I think this was probably the most I enjoyed in a DC movie, I think, um, for the recent DC movies. You know, I think The Suicide Squad, uh, the one that James Gunn directed, was one that I enjoyed. The Harley Quinn movie is one that I enjoyed. The Joker movie with Joaquin Phoenix is one that I really enjoyed, too, as well. I mean, sooner or later I'll share a picture of me how I, that I was him for Halloween <laughs> one time. Um, the Snyder Cut, of course, I think everyone enjoyed it because we know that was supposed to be the real Justice League movie, but, you know, it only came out on HBO Max, didn't get to come out in theater. Um, other than that, yeah, this was very enjoyable. Very, I, I really liked it. Like I said, the plot got kind of predictable towards the end, but, um, yeah, i definitely go see it again. You know, i give it an absolute recommend with laryngitis. Losing my voice. So yeah, go check it out. Now, like I say in some other videos, if you've seen them, you know, in case, in case you don't, in case I don't see you, yeah, you know, good afternoon, good evening, good night. I'm always quoting Truman. I really love that movie for some reason. I, uh, I gotta do. I really do gotta come up with something else. But uh, yeah, you guys, whoever's watching, thanks for stopping by. Well, then.